<laughs> We're gonna, I mean, the win obviously will, will help, but how's it feeling right now? It's actually not bad. It, uh, they did a great job stitching me up, and obviously it missed my eyes, so I um, was glad it didn't get me in a really bad spot, but they did a great job fixing me up. In the moment that it happened, uh, what went through your mind? I was trying to figure out if the puck went in, because <laughs> it's sitting pretty close, and then, uh, I don't know, it, obviously I kind of saw the skate coming, and it's just an unlucky play, I think, a little bit unfortunate, but um, like I said, I think the first thought was that I could just see out of the eye, so that was the main thing. I feel like you guys, are your teammates were inspired by the fact that uh, <laughs> I don't know maybe I didn't get to watch <laughs> I didn't get to watch much of the end of the first or the start of the second but um, you know it was nice going back to the bench and being up 2 nothing because it was 0-0 zero, zero when I left so um, I was just kind of had my eyes closed getting stitched up and listening to the guys hooting holler when we scored so it was what, good what was the final number on the zippers I'm not exactly sure Over 75 though we heard uh, maybe I don't know I'm not sure um, just looking at the play it looks like Chandler Stevenson at one point actually kind of pulls you back up is that how you saw it as well yeah he said uh, I can't ex remember exactly what he said to me but he's checking in just making sure I was all right because I think he saw the blood right away so yeah he helped me out a little bit was there ever any doubt that you weren't going to go back in uh no no I uh like I said it missed anything important and I had feeling and everything so it was um as long as they stitched me up well just like they did it was it was awesome we were, the team did a great job in there so yeah what do you take of the way your team kind of responded there after a scoreless first to get those two quick ones and then kind of take off. Yeah, I thought it was a good first. Like, we, we had some chances. I know the puck sat in the goal line a few times there. So um, I thought it was a good game for us. We played a complete 60. And, um, you know, I've been saying it for a while. I feel like we're peaking at the right time. So it was a good uh, good 60 minutes. What did you see in the third period? Two shots. How many? Like two shots. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, like I think that was kind of our game plan, just keep putting pucks low and, um, you know, make them beat us, make them go 200 feet if they're going to do it. And um, we got a big kill there, so the guys did a great job. Morgan, you get the sense that uh, this is going to go down in the annals of hockey playoff lore? I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't thought that far yet. I don't, I, don't, I don't really think so, but maybe, yeah. When's the last time that you wore a cage or any of the setup that you wore to me? Uh, I wore it in college, so four years ago maybe, so it wasn't too much of an adjustment. Short flashback, any, I mean, you were on the PK, anything like that. Did it ever cross your mind while you were on the ice that uh, you had to protect yourself somehow? No, no, like I said, with the cage on, it's pretty hard for anything to happen. So um, you get hopped up on adrenaline. I was obviously really excited for my first playoff game and um, just kind of went from there. Have you had the chance to check your phone yet? Phone no, I texted, <laughs> texted my girlfriend and my parents just to make sure that they knew I was okay before I got stitched up and then um, no, I haven't been on my phone.